Kelly. And Kim. Welcome to the skinny. Hello. So Saturday at the Weight Watcher scale, I gained 0.8. So I am still in my weight range, but my goal, because we're going to talk about that in a minute, we have a little mini goal for our trip, and we're going to start tracking our, we have four weeks to weigh in. Four weigh-ins. For our trip to lose, and our goal is five pounds. Okay. So, so what did you do? I had a great weigh-in. I lost 1.66 for a total, I got to look, 109. of 109.6. So, so she was super excited. I'm almost down to, I was down at 1.110, so yeah. I'm almost back there. So I really kind of feel like I'm kind of forging to new weight loss coming up. So I'm super excited. Well, I think what was helpful this week too is we tried some new things. We we, we did eat what we said we were going to eat. We tried the Lean Cuisine, Salisbury Steak, the and frozen box cheese. of disappointment on Whipped up with like corn on the cob, and then we tried the meatloaf and mashed potatoes with I think we did carrots or peas. I think it was carrots and peas actually. The carrot pea combo, and it was very it was very filling. Adding mm -hmm. the, that veggie to it really helped bulk it up, and it was just different. Because they only give you like obviously a little tiny bit of mashed potatoes and a tiny little bit of macaroni. So it's I so I did rounded it, it out with the veggie. veggie. Um, and it's, it was really good. It was good, you know, and it was good just to change it up because we've really gotten bored with it, our same old, same old. I mean, yeah. even all of the cards that we've been through, we keep our index cards. We just needed something even different. newer than that, but different, quick, different. but quick. Things, Summer is still very busy for us, and right yes. now we're both in really busy mode. And frankly, we haven't done any frozen meals in a very long That's time. That's usually not in our freezer. But you the know only what? thing we usually keep is the Trader the, Joe's the mac, mac and cheese, cheese or the Lean Cuisine it, mac and cheese. The, or yeah, they factor into a, a dish that we make. Because we, we do like. the hot, we do the turkey dogs with the mac and cheese and the broccoli. That's like a standard. That's one yes. of our go-tos. Yes. And that's a quickie, so that's about which is the, fantastic. That's about the way. only frozen meal that we really do. I mean, other than that, yeah. rest of them, we spend years. Yeah, because we take years. the cut up, two, cut up the two hot dogs, the white turkey hot dogs with the, with the Trader Joe's or Lean Cuisine, cuisine mac and cheese and then add broccoli thing, and broccoli and it's just like this bowl, bowl of, of love. love it's fabulous it is really good actually. and it's cheesy and it's got it's meat a quickie in it. and so everybody we ask we said please suggest some things and we've got some things we're gonna try for sure yes but one of the things that i think that was big for for this coming week is we're gearing up to our trip to london we because we are so super excited everything's super, i super like excited. book stuff book stuff i'm working on my itinerary because i'm one of those planning freaks that people hate like and i'm sure all of you guys are shocked <laughs> I mean, literally, I do like day by day it's stuff ridiculous. with how to get there. What I mean, even though we've been there many times, I do. Doesn't matter. But she the more anyway. details I have in a very small space, the quicker I don't have to carry any travel stuff. I have everything here. Yeah. The address, I'm good. Yeah. I got a plan. Yeah. There's no wasted time. That she considers that part of the vacation. It's part. I actually consider this part of the fun okay. of preparing. Okay. I'm going to tell it. you the truth about her. She actually faux packed her suitcase so she could see if everything would fit in the small suitcase. Because we're taking small suitcases. Well, my clothes are smaller. So she actually faux packed for eight days to see. Well, and I was <laughs> able to get it to the really small wheelie case, not the big one, the small one. So I'm she taking faux the small case and I, and a backpack. That's it. Faux packed. That's all. <laughs> it took it took no time. I just like grabbed like enough outfits, like enough pair. But that's how anal. That's how anal she is. She faux packs. These people think I need help. They <laughs> do. That's where my new phrase faux packs. <laughs> <laughs> you do need help. Just a skosh. <laughs> I balance you out. I ba I keep you from tipping over the edge. You know, I'm the I'm the balance. I'm 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 the Lucy Goosey to your cray. <laughs> well, I will say you didn't make fun of me when I did it. I didn't make fun As of you. Were making I was, fun of me now. I was making fun of you on the inside. <laughs> I was She actually went upstairs to my room with me and let me do it. What was I gonna say? <laughs> she just watched me. I was gonna say, you're cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. <laughs> So I packed it. Oh, it took, it took 15 minutes so I could see if I was able to. I don't want to find out like the day before I leave that my clothes need the bigger suitcase. I wanted to test the theory. And I did. And it worked. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm doing my itinerary, which makes me super happy because I'm a weirdo. 
It's part of the vacation. It's part of the fun. It's part of the preparation. But it's also kind of given us a little bit of a buzz to say, okay, yes, we want to, our goal is five pounds, you know. So here's part of the preparation. For the next four weeks. We have four weigh-ins until our we leave. So, so our little mini goal. Yes. And literally, well, actually, would have had five weigh-ins because we leave on a Friday. We would have weighed in on Saturday. So really, there's five weigh-ins. Unfortunately, uh, you know what? If I, oh, hmm. if I can find a time to weigh in, I will. Um, um, uh, no. And so that's anyway, happening. So anyway, four official weigh-ins There's no way it's going to happen. Prior. So that's a real, I, I am so excited about it. We've set our little five pound goal that we goal. talked about. Yeah. So I'm going to have this on the fridge and every week that, up until then, we'll put our loss as we weigh in. So we're, we're really excited about it. I'm I really think it's, excited. You know, we've it. talked about many goals in the past. I've needed I this. think it's, it's, it's a good thing to kind of, especially if you're getting a little bored or getting a little stale or I was. along with us changing up our food, it's, it's been good for us to think, okay, well, let's get a little mini goal going. Let's, you know, something to, mm -hmm. to shoot for. I didn't realize how much I needed it. Yeah. Until I really thought about, oh, I started doing this stuff and I thought how excited I was. Yeah. I thought I have really clearly needed this. Yeah. Super fun. So it I makes it fun. It's been part of my planning for my trip. I've, yeah. I've integrated into that yeah. and have found and a way and, to make and, it and fun. Yes. Th that's hardcore around here. <laughs> this whole trip thing. Hardcore. We're talking wills. We're talking. I've done all of that. Yeah. I've, I've planned ahead. I'm a paralegal for crying out loud. You don't think I've planned ahead? Yeah, we've updated the wills. All that stuff. I, update, I leave instructions in case we go down in a burning fiery plane crash and my uncle knows what to do. I've given all the details. I'm not getting what I say. She updated our wills. I updated everything. <laughs> I update everything. I have to leave him with some information. He won't know anything. I don't tell him. People are like, she is... No, I plan ahead for every contingency. You do. Yes, you do. You do. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there's a reason there's two of us. <laughs> we God ha God said we need one who's a little on the crazy planner side, and we need one who's just a little more creative and loosey goosey. And then that they, it's like one person. It's like one balanced person. So you're, I balance you, and you balance me. You keep me from being. You keep me from going off the edge into in chaos. <laughs> keep you from being completely and utterly uptight <laughs> it's just that mesh you know that's what you know i guess that's what twins do like it just keep you from going over the edge and you keep me from so going you really making fun of me when i was packing my suitcase in my head <laughs> in my head i was like wow <laughs> so now i have to live with this fact <laughs> well you'll know it next time because she's gonna be thinking she's and I'm just have to say to you, are you making fun of me? So that makes my do something like that. I'm going to have to look at you and ask if you're making fun of me in your head. Yes. <laughs> You'll That's... just know that I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I am, and I actually, but still, I appreciate the cray because it does balance me out and keep me from being kind of just, well, what would you do if you didn't have an update? That's what I'm saying. You, 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 that rains me, it, it rains in my loosey goosiness. And it, so then all like your said, stuff would go through probate. It's it's a good balance. It's a good balance. But I still got to make fun of it <sighs> because it's so not completely not my nature. I mean, I'm a planner, but not like that. <laughs> so let's talk meals. Okay. So there was... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there was a couple I really wanted to I try. I just had to I say real sure. quick. I even did like a weekly menu. This she week. did. What, what do we have meal, for dinner? Each meal, not just dinner. You know how a lot of times I just do dinner? Yeah. She did all of them. But one of the things, okay, I want to talk about the one that got me super excited. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, first I have to say, what? Oh, hold the phone. I gotta say, where have you been all of my life? Yeah. Just call me Joe. Yeah. Adding butter spray to the corn on the cob yeah. and basically sticking feta to it. Yeah. And yum. We put Who feta knew? on so many things. I, why did I never not know this? Yeah. Why did we not know but this? But I'm going to say mm. that the feta from Trader Joe's, the fat-free feta from it's Trader Joe's salty. is fantastic. You and it, you can crumble it really fine mm -hmm. and it's very creamy. I love it. And it's it would probably favorite. stick really well to butter spray. Yeah, I think I can't wait to try it now. It's it's my favorite uh, feta. Oh, we could try it right now because I have a piece of corn on the cob and right now on the stove. Should we try it? No, I already ate that corn on the cob. You did? I did. Okay. <laughs> Where did you think it was going to go? I thought there was an extra corn on the cob. Get in my belly! I ate it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, wait now. This one I wanted to mention is from Carrie Fitzgerald. 
the stuffed peppers. I've been craving stuff, craving stuffed peppers. Our mom used to time. always make them. Now, I don't like rice because I don't like the texture of rice, but I will eat it in stuffed peppers. Well, her suggestion is to make it with Weight Watchers Santa Fe rice and beans. Which I mean, I love. how I, smart is that? If I, That's probably if the Weight Watchers meals. Yes. I, that would be my favorite. I've had it a long time, but that's my favorite one. And you put that in the pepper, but you, she says also maybe even a Morning Star black bean burger crumbled. You could add that, that in it to give it some more bulk in some there. More protein and, in there. And that nice flavor with that, that rice and beans, I that would be fantastic. And I like again, I've been craving stuffed peppers, and that sounds so good. And we're to having me. dinner out with friends tomorrow night. Mexican, of course. Of course. But Wednesday night, that may need to happen. That might need to happen. Mm -hmm. And there was a couple others you really wanted to share. Oh, and I have to say, I am Debbie Haney. I, I have to chuckle. You brought up cottage cheese <laughs> with fresh pineapple. We hate, we hate cottage, cottage cheese, cheese, but our mom loved it. She always added peaches or pineapple mm -hmm. to her cottage cheese. Growing up, that's if mom was eating that, I was like, she's on a diet. But well, she, even then, she, she still it, loved it. She would eat it a lot. I mean, yeah. that was like that was a go-to. So I her. I saw that and I laughed. Maybe think and about it just mom. made me happy. That it was, was great. Yeah. So we were totally so that, this was another one that I actually was like I've never heard of, and I thought, ooh, I would totally try this. Which one? Uh, it's from Chris. Chris. Chris Ronchetti, take refried beans mm -hmm. and take an Olay wrap, spread some refried beans, some scrambled eggs, and salsa and roll it up. Ah. That sounds like a great I could do that. breakfast thing. I love it. I, I would even do beans. that for dinner. I yeah. would totally even do that for do a couple of those yeah. for dinner. Yeah. Well, another yeah. one I really liked is somebody said take like a potato taco. It's basically yeah. take a baked potato and put basically whatever you put on a taco, the meat the mm -hmm. cheese, anything you put and put it on the potato. That sounds it, really good. It kind of bulks mm -hmm. up. You know, for dinner is usually my heavier meal. It to is. me, that sounds really good. And I was really excited about this one too. This one, a Miss Social Deb. I liked this one because I've not tried the turkey. They're the Johnsonville turkey um, cheddar sausages. Mm -hmm. um, you cut them up, throw them in a pan with some oil, and you add in some cut up yellow potatoes yep. and then you could add uh, green peppers and onions. You could even use the bag of the tor Trader Joe's like fajita, fajita veggies. veggies, throw that in there and let it cook down and yeah. yum. Uh, here's, uh, yum. Here's another one that's a dessert that I saw this and this one was from, yes. um, I gotta find that it. That sounds really good. From Patty M. Basically it's taking sugar free yellow cake mix Three eggs and a can mm. of light pie filling, like apple or cherry. Yeah, the com, I think it's Comstock's so the brand. They have a lot of light ones. Yeah, cherry, so you can mix le like lemon. The eggs and the cake mix, and okay. then you add the the filling, the, the pie can. filling. It's your wet. Okay. And it gets it all nice and mixed, and you bake it in a nine by thirteen. And your points are based on so like three your cake yeah. and your filling for thirty three to thirty five minutes. Yeah, on your cake and your filling, that's what your points are based on. You just on put out your recipe divided. tracker. And yeah. Divide by number of it servings. It sounds you get. really delicious because you could do apple, and I love yeah. cake. I just you know oh, the te yeah. texture of cake, but Me then you too. add a little apple filling or cherry mm. filling. It just sounds really delicious. And if you do the strawberry filling, you could throw some blueberries in there too. Yeah. So I mean, it just sounds it really burst. good and really kind of a quick and easy. Yeah. You know, which, I would take which that I someplace. love. I would too. Um, another I one that's kind of a go-to for us, but somebody else mentioned using the low-fat Alfredo. Which I think is good. We haven't done this in forever. No, and I will tell you, um, Bertoli makes one, and so does Ragu. And we use those egg egg yolks. Uh, the, the yeah, the whole, no yolk people. Yeah. they also make a whole wheat one. Yes, and I'll do that with Alfredo. But this is Giselle Briggs. And then throw in then some broccoli or broccoli other veggies. or chicken. And mm -hmm. and it's a kind of like a low fat Alfred, you know, Alfredo. chicken Alfredo dish. Yeah, yum, yummy. And so it made me think about that. That sounds, sounds really good. good. Um, there's just so many good ones that, it, yeah. you know, it's, it's trying a black, I like this one sounded really good too. Yeah. A black bean veggie burger. Right. Who knew? This is from Jacob, uh, Fr Frusher, um, black bean veggie burger, like a yeah. morning star black bean veggie burger. Put it on a, um, English, English muffin, muffin, which I think is a little like heavier yeah. density, which could, you know, to hold that with spread on laughing cow, pepper jack, the pepper jack, which is my favorite. That sounds the really cow. good. And then like salsa as a dipping sauce mm -hmm. on the side. That sounded mm -hmm. really that good really to me. good actually. And different. different. And you, he, he's got on here too, put some tortillas, chips on the side for crunch, like almost like a burger and I chips. I would use the Ch White Watchers chili lime quinoa Oh, quinoa chips. Because they're spicy. spicy. 
I would do that, that as my side. sign. And the, because I have to say, we had those initially, and I said, oh, we really like them. I don't just like them, I love them. I'm obsessed. The more I eat them, the more I like them. Me too. And I've got like four boxes in there right now because I'm obsessed with them. But and just, if you did not notice, um, if you went to a Weight Watchers meeting this week, they have the salted caramel bars out. It's an point ones out. They're, yeah, it's an old oldie. one. Oh, it's an oldie, oldie coming but a back for a limited time. They're so delicious. If you did like the salted caramel uh, bars, they're there. Um, three point bars. They're back limited time only. Yes. So heads up on that. I was surprised. I was like, I of course bought a box. Yes, we did because I was like, this is gonna be delicious. So um, before we end things, uh, and, so, and we want to say a special thank you, but I want to mention couple something. A <clears throat> couple things. Uh, first thing is. It is not Breast Cancer Awareness Month yet. It's not October, but we just want to mention mammograms. We think um, we have both, uh, oddly enough, our two best friends have, one has already had a double mastectomy and another one is getting ready to. So, so obviously um, you think four, four people, four women in a group, us two and them two, and two of them are having this. So please, please, so, please go get your mammogram. That please. just tells you chances and it tells you, you know, if that if four women, two of them, half of them in a room, um, go get your mammogram. Yes. Um, just, it's yearly, do it. Yeah, um, watch it out takes, for yourself. What, it takes 30 minutes out of your day. Um, go, do go do it. And, and your insurance is going to cover it. It go covers it. a mammogram. If you're younger and you have a family history, it, it will probably cover it too. Talk to your doctor about trying to get them to include family history and get it covered for you. I had my first one at 35. Me too. So. And I, we are in our, we are in our early fifties. So we do it every year. We're both very conscious of it. Maybe it's just, you know, again, friends and family, but it, every woman should, to, should, should go do, do it. it. Please just do. Take care of it. Um, what else? What else? Mention? Wanted to talk about, that was our biggie, but yeah, I want to talk about something good now and exciting now. What? These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Isn't this cute? It's we a, just got these in the mail. Oh my gosh. It's a it's an awesome bag. They're, oh, oh my gosh, we both got one. Yes. It's a turtle crossbody bag. It's a great market bag. It's a great book bag. Yes. It's a great I wanna visit Fiona bag. I wanna visit Fiona bag. Thank you, thank you, it's Suzanne so Thomas. Cute. We love them. So cute. They're super awesome. This can totally go to the zoo with me yeah. and hold my stuff. Yes. Hold my lunch because a lot of times awesome. we'll take a lunch with us because obviously they don't really have light offerings at the zoo. Yes. So we love them. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. thinking of us. Oh, I love we the turtles. I tell you. We love them. We do love them. And we loved your letter. It's funny that you uh, you ran into a Fiona wearing t shirt person in Arizona. That's Which awesome. so <laughs> cracks me up. You know, everybody what? knows her. Everybody knows her. She is famous. Do you know she's going to be on Man vs. Food? I think she is. Yeah, because he's going to talk here. about how hippos eat. Yes, he came here to do three restaurants in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. and um, they stopped by Cincinnati Zoo to see Fiona. And he's going to, I guess, do a, a, a blurb about what Because it's Fiona. And because it's Fiona, because she's and famous. she's famous. And she's special. And everybody loves her, and she's important. She's, <laughs> she's perfect. She's perfect. She has a perfect little face. So she's important. Okay, so she's on man versus food, hippo versus food. Hippo versus food. There She'll eat go. anything. She will eat it. Well, no, she won't. Well, it's true, but she eats a lot of whatever she's eating. Have you seen her? Have you seen her crush some some watermelon? watermelon? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I have. I understand. I crush. I can crush some watermelon too. Me too. So bring on the watermelon. I love it. So we will see you next week. Later. Later. Bye.